no two businesses are the same. And sometimes you'll need to add extra account codes to suit the needs of your business. To do this on Xero is quite simple, although you do need a bit of an accounting knowledge to understand whereabouts to place the nominal code. So if you have any doubts when doing this, it might be best asking your accountant to do it for you. But here's how you do it. You can head over to accounting and click on the chart of accounts. Now here I've got it saved as a favourite, but if you don't have it here, you can head over to advanced. And here you can add an account. Now, this is where you'll need your accounting knowledge to understand whereabout it sits in which section. So there's a nice little summary over here, which you can look at. But again, you'll need accounting knowledge to understand how this works. Then you choose a unique code. Now this code should fit in to whereabout it's going to sit, either in your profit and loss or balance sheet. Find that code, you'll look at where other codes in these categories are. So for example, the 200 series codes tend to be for sales, 300 for direct costs, 400 for other expenses, so admin expenses, and then anything from 600 onwards tend to be for the balance sheet. Then you can add a name for your nominal code, so a short description, and then you can put a bit of a longer description if you'd like to over here. You can select what the default VAT code for this nominal code is going to be, and you can always change it when you're creating this transaction in zero anyway, but this is just the default one that comes up when you select this nominal code and you can opt for it to be available on the dashboard watch list which is something we covered in another video you can show it in your expense claims and enable payments to this account means you can mark it off as paid for this account so this is particularly useful for things like directors current accounts otherwise known as directors loan accounts thank you for watching